Hi friends, welcome back to week two of the Basic Shapes Amigurumi series. Last week we crocheted a ball and this week we'll be making a cone. I name him Stank Cone because of the stank face he makes, which I find absolutely adorable. So we have Kawaii Sphere chasing after our stank cone, but he isn't impressed. These are the materials you will need. Any yarn and hook of your choice. I'll be using red decay yarn and a 3mm crochet hook, stitch markers, yarn needle, scissor, some fillings of your choice, a little bit of dark brown and pink yarn for the face embroidery. First, we start by creating a magic ring. We will be crocheting from the top down. I'll be linking some slow motion video tutorials in the top right hand corner throughout this video in case you need extra help. Round 1. 3 single crochet in the magic ring. This will form our top pointy shape of the cone. To make things easier, let's mark each of the stitch. I'm using pink stitch marker for the last stitch that we just did. Blue stitch marker for the second stitch. and yellow stitch marker for the first stitch. Tighten the magic ring here by pulling the end tail. For round two, we want to do three invisible increase. We first do this by joining our live stitch to the first stitch, which is marked by the yellow stitch marker. To do invisible increase, we first do single crochet on the front loop only. Then we do single crochet on both loop of the stitch. Click on the top right hand corner if you need more help on how to do invisible increase. I'm going to grab another stitch marker to mark our first stitch in round 2. Now we are going to complete our first invisible increase by doing single crochet on both loop of that first stitch. Let's now do the second invisible increase. I hope you all have been well. If you are still here, please link and share this video to help the channel to grow. Thanks! We are now up to the third and last invisible increase of round two.
round three, invisible increase, single crochet, repeat this for a total of three times. You will have nine stitches at the end of the round. Grab your stitch marker to mark the first stitch in the round. That's our first invisible increase done. Working on the single crochet next. Now we are going to repeat invisible increase. single crochet, invisible increase, single crochet, now round four, we begin with single crochet, Mark the first stitch using stitch marker. Invisible increase. single crochet. Repeat this two more times and we will end up with 12 stitches at the end of the round. So single crochet, invisible increase, single crochet, single crochet, invisible increase, single crochet. Now round five, Invisible increase, then three single crochet. Repeat this for a total of three times. We will end up with 15 stitches at the end of the round. Mark the first stitch using stitch marker. single crochet single crochet single crochet invisible increase single crochet single crochet single crochet, invisible increase, single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, round six, two single crochet, then invisible increase, then two single crochet. Repeat this pattern three times in total. We will end up with 18 stitches at the end of the round. Mark the first stitch using stitch marker.
single crochet invisible increase single crochet single crochet I'm going to fast forward after the first sequence see you at the end of round six round seven invisible increase then five single crochet repeat this sequence three times in total we will have 21 stitches at the end of the round mark the first stitch using stitch marker I'm going to fast forward after the first sequence. See you at the end of round seven. Round eight, three single crochet, invisible increase, then three single crochet. Repeat this pattern three times in total. We will have 24 stitches at the end of the round. Mark the first stitch using stitch marker. I'm going to fast forward after the first sequence. See you at the end of the round. Round nine, invisible increase, then seven single crochet. Repeat this sequence three times in total. We will have 27 stitches at the end of the round. See you at the end of the round. Round 10, four single crochet, invisible increase, then four single crochet. Repeat this sequence three times in total. We will have 30 stitches at the end of the round. See you at the end of the round. Round 11, invisible increase, then nine single crochet. Repeat this sequence three times in total, we will have 33 stitches at the end of the round. Round 12, five single crochet, invisible increase, then five single crochet. Repeat the sequence three times and we will have 36 stitches at the end of the round. Round 13, invisible increase, then 11 single crochet. Repeat this three times in total. We will have 39 stitches at the end of the round.
round 14, six single crochet, invisible increase, and six single crochet. Repeat this sequence three times in total, and we will have 42 stitches at the end of the round. We are now at the end of round 14. In round 15, we will be doing 42 single crochet around in the back loop only. When we work on the back loop only, it will create a nice edge finish for our cone. Grab your stitch marker to mark the first stitch in the round. If you notice, I purposely made stank cone slightly larger than kawaii sphere. This is because the top part of the cone is too narrow for embroidery otherwise. Round 16, invisible decrease, five single crochet. Repeat the sequence six times in total. We will have 36 stitches at the end of the round. So to do invisible decrease, we are going to work on the front loop only. So insert your hook to the front loop of the next stitch, then insert it again to the front loop of the next stitch you will now have three stitches on your hook. Yarn over, then pull through the first two stitches. Yarn over again and pull through the remaining stitches. Grab your stitch marker to mark the first stitch in the round. We are starting to decrease now and crocheting the bottom base of our cone. Round 17, two single crochet, invisible decrease, then two single crochet. Repeat the sequence six times in total. We will have 30 stitches at the end of the round. We just finished the first single crochet. Now one more single crochet, invisible decrease, single crochet and one last single crochet repeat Round 18, invisible decrease, then three single crochet. Repeat this sequence six times in total. We will have 24 stitches at the end of the round.
round 19, single crochet, invisible decrease, and single crochet. Repeat this sequence six times in total. We will have 18 stitches at the end of the round. Round 20, invisible decrease, then single crochet. Repeat this six times in total. We will have 12 stitches at the end of the round. Grab your stitch marker to mark the first stitch in the round. Let's pause right here to close our magic ring. We are going to weave through the top stitch only and then put the needle through the beginning hole. Pull slightly and the hole will close seamlessly. Leave the remaining thread inside the body. Start stuffing with fiber fill. I'm also using my leftover yarn to stuff the body. Round 21. 6 invisible decrease This is the final round Pull the yarn through and leave enough tail for seaming the hole Put the needle through the middle hole and find an exit anywhere on the body. Insert the needle again to a stitch right next to it and find an exit anywhere on the body. Do this a couple of times to secure the stitch. Cut the remaining yarn or use the back of your needle to push the yarn back to the body. Okay, it's embroidery time. I have marked the approximate location of the eyes and mouth using stitch markers. So the eyes are about 5 stitches wide with 3 stitches gaps in between. The eyes are pretty much set but I might change my mind later with the mouth. We will see how we go. The eyes are located 7 stitches down from the top of the cone. We are going to begin with the right eye. I'm inserting my needle in the same spot as that blue stitch marker. Moving to the left eye now. For the eyeball, I'm going to use a cross stitch which is an egg shape.
and then fill the four sides in. Exit the needle at the exact same spot where we first insert our needle for the right eye. Tie a couple of knots. Cut remaining yarn. Then insert the needle back again at the exact same spot. Exit anywhere in the body. Push any leftover yarn back inside the body. Let's do the mouth next. Since his eyes are looking sideways, I think it's better to have the mouth also slanted sideways. So that's what we are going to do. For the mouth, first do a straight line. Then insert the needle up to one side. So we can create that slant. Pull gently and ensure that the needle is located below the live thread like this. So we can loop the live thread when we insert the needle back in that same exact spot. Tie a couple of knots. Cut remaining yarn. Then insert the needle back again at the exact same spot. Exit anywhere in the body. Now for the cheeks, we are going to use pink yarn. We are going to do straight vertical lines for the cheeks. They are one stitch high, two on the right and three on the left cheek.
tie a couple of knots then insert the needle back again at the exact same spot exit anywhere in the body As always, have a beautiful day. Take care, my loves, and I hope to see you in my next video.